Hi guys! With REST Assured, we can work with headers and cookies of the request and response. Let's try it out on the health check tests and let's create a copy of our test and call it headers and cookies test. So I will copy this test, paste it here and rename to headers and cookies. Instead of BDD syntax, let's use normal Java coding style. So let's create response variable. Let's call it response equals rest assured that given and our specifications dot get and our ping URL semicolon let's remove this code and let's import response from IO rest assured that response now let's extract cookies and headers from our response and let's use system out to print it to console so let's get headers first so let's add a comment get headers and then let's get cookies now here's how we get headers so let's create let's use headers class to get headers equals response dot and guess what is the command correct get headers just like this so now let's import headers from now make sure to import headers from io rest assured http because as you see i have two suggestions but com.sun.net is not what we need so io rest assured http and let's print them to console so system out print ln or um, in eclipse you can just type south and push control space and it will automatically change it to system out print line or you can type uh, it manually system out print line and let's type so headers and our headers here and similar to cookies so let's use cookies class let's call them cookies equals response now guess get detailed cookies uh, not cookie cookies there is the method to get specific cookie but there is a method to get all cookies and there is method just get cookies and there is a method get detailed cookies so let's use detailed cookies and import cookies also from io rest assured http now let's copy this print ln and change headers to cookies and save now let's run tests to see what headers and cookies we have in the response so right click on health check run as test and retest and let's look at the console okay so headers server equals cowboy connection equals keep alive x powered by equals express all those are headers and cookies well we do not have any cookies so it's just empty here unfortunately we do not have any cookies to work with but as you saw we have a few headers in our response so let's get single headers values and there are a few ways to do so and i will show you two different ways how you can get single header values from the response first way we will get single header from headers variable so header and let's call it let's use server header so let's do server header and 
one so equals um, also let's import this header and make sure to import it from io rest assured as you see there are two headers from apache uh, one from codehouse one from sun jvm but make sure to import correct one from rest assured and if you you know if you are new to java development you can double check what exactly you imported here on the top of your test class so you can make sure that header and headers are imported from rest assured library so let's get back here so header one and we will use this headers variable headers dot get and then the name of the header we want to import and so let's go to our console and let's copy this server so we have a headers key server and the value cowboy so name of the header is server and the value is cowboy so if we will do it like so headers dot get server it will return us it should return us the header with the name server and the value cowboy so now let's print it to console so south system out print line and so uh first of all the name of our header so we know the name of our header is server but we actually can get the name from the value so this server header variable will store the name and the value so server header one dot get and you see we can get name plus um uh, Let's do it like so. So we have semicolon after the name of the header, then space, and then server header dot get value. So it will print the name of the header and then the value. And now second way to get the header. So we can use response directly to get the header. So response dot get header. And as you see, there are two methods, get headers, all of them which we used before that returns headers uh, instance of headers class and get header that receives the name of the header and returns string variable so in this case we also want to get server header but in this case it will not return the whole header it will return just the value of the server header so here is gonna be so string and let's do the same name just instead of server header one it's gonna be server header two so string server header two equals response dot get header and the name of the header and now when we print it to console uh, we no longer I mean we know that it's server header but this variable server header one will store only the value of the header so server and server no, not like that server header two and save so let's run this test one more time to see what is printed to the console so we should get all headers and then uh, server header gonna be printed two times so if you go here and here it is so headers server cowboy and then server cowboy but in this case we had to manually give the name of the header and in this case we could extract the name of the header from this header variable so now you know how you can get headers from the response and the same way you will be able to get cookies if you need to verify them. Unfortunately, we do not have any cookies in our response for me to show you exactly how to do so. But I mean, it's going to be almost exactly like headers. But we can also add cookies and headers to our request. And let's see how. So here after rest assured that given spec we can do next so let's put that and start typing 
COO and as you see there are few different methods called cookies but they receive uh, different uh, values. So in first case we can create cookie variable using cookie class. In second case we can send, we can add cookie uh, with the name to the request but at this time we do not assign any value. And here next method we are actually creating cookie name and adding a value to this cookie. Uh, we, can we can add many cookies at the same time. As you see there is cookie class, first one, and cookies class that consists of few of those cookie classes. We can send them as a map and one more way here to add cookies to the request. And as you see, uh, while, while I go up and down, uh, here there is nice documentation which, what each method can do for you. So you can follow this documentation if you, if you want to learn more specifics about each of those methods. So let's use, let's use this third method with string cookie name and then uh, value of the cookie as an object. So I'll just select this one and so what do I want to name my cookie? Just test cookie name. Test cookie name and for the value just test oops test cookie value. And the third one I can actually delete. There's gonna be no additional values and let me move it one line down so you can read the code and save. So this is how I can add cookie to the request. You see we are adding this cookie before get. So we basically adding this cookie to our spec. And exactly the same way we can add header to our request. So here after cookie we can just do header and again few different ways to add header. So let's use the same as with cookie. This one and let me also move it down. Test header name and test header value. No additional headers, just like this and save. Also, we can add header and cookie to the request specification directly even before we create in the actual response. So let's do it also. And let's first create header variable. So header, uh, let's call it some header equals new header and here we need to do name and value. So some name, some value. And now specification dot header and our sum header. So now this is the way to add another way to add header to our request. So at this time if we run our code we will have two additional headers in our request. So header with name sum name and header with name test header name. And the same for cookie. So cookie, let's call it some cookie equals new cookie uh, but you see I have this suggestion cookie but it's not from rest assured it's from JSON library so I need to scroll down and see cookie uh, oh no I will not do that so 
uh, do next so cookie dot builder so this is the way we create cookie and we can import it from rest assured so the second one not from json but from io rest assured so now we need to give name uh, let's call it some cookie and some cookie value and before semicolon dot build so this is well not exactly the same as with header because here we need to use builder so cookie dot builder and then we submit uh, cookie name and cookie value and then dot build and again spec dot cookie and our some cookie here and now if you want to see and make sure that we added some headers and cookies to our request let's lock them to console using rest assured log method so here after header before get uh, let's use log dot all and save and now let's run our health check test so now if we go to console we see headers some name some value test header name with test header value and another one that was there before and same for cookies we have some cookie with some cookie value and test cookie name with test cookie value just exactly as we created them here so as you see with rest assured we can achieve the same results in few different ways and it's up to you to decide how exactly you want to write your code